So, of course, Googling the error is always helpful. Maybe, maybe not helpful. I don't really know. So, I'm going to, you know, try some things here. It seems that the only thing that makes sense is, you know, I've read, read a couple of different forums now that um, where the suggestion is to increase the VPP voltage. Well, all right, so that's definitely not... I don't want to go too much higher to be within the operating norms, but it shouldn't burn out the chip. But let me say this. I did, like, increase everything to its maximum. Yeah, see, like, here, this I, I got a hit on, uh, on, on, on this error here. It's not an exact syntax of the error, but, uh, you know, it's close. 13.5 uh, or 14 volts might work. They are talking about the same EEPROM burner in this case. Uh, a different EEPROM burner in this case, but uh, you know, it's the it's the fact that the verify is on zero XFF. That is, yeah, the verify is on zero XFF. That I think I'm hitting because this is this is hitting results along with this, and it seems that the buffer data this address might be a little bit different, but these two addresses are the same with the hits that I'm getting here. So, don't know what that means, but let's find out, shall we? So the VPP voltage at 12.5 is, you know, let's say it's too low. Now, I will say this. I, I turned everything up to the maximum, and that's how I think I, I turned the first chip bad, where now I, I successfully wrote that first bit, byte, whatever, at double zero. And now it won't undo itself, right? I, I can't erase it. It's, it will never go to double F. So I want to be real careful about burning out a second one here, because I only have five of these, and I'd really like to get this to work with this particular batch. So... Let's see what we can get done here. If we can get anything done here. So, again, let's try. I just put the chip in. <coughs> Do a quick read. Make sure this isn't the bad one. Of course, we won't know if it's actually reading the chip because with the chip out, it says exactly the same thing. That's always fun. So, we're going to open this file again. And there we go. Binary, code memory, great. We're going to do program. Um, it's probably going to error out. Yep, verify 0xff. So let's let's try 13.5. See how that helps. Program, program. Same exact error. Okay. So let's try 14. Program, program. Same exact error. Now I do have this plugged into a USB hub. So what I'm going to try to do is to actually put it into a, um, actually put it directly into a, uh, um, a USB port, the USB 3 port on this Lenovo laptop, which, you know, it seems to be well powered. I power, um, uh, you know, uh, external hard drives with it, no problem. And so, and, you know, I, I'd like to think that this isn't taking quite as much juice as that, so to speak. So to speak, let's see if I can get this shim in here. Make sure that the connection is good and tight. All right, so it's installing. It's installing my programmer. You know, on a new hub. Yes, thank you, Windows. You can't recognize it on any USB port. You have to reinstall it every time. Every time. So exciting. Oh, good. Ready to use. Excellent. Device recognizes it here. So let's try jumping back. Let's try jumping back to 12.5 again just to see. Yeah, 12.5. Let's see. Let's see if this does anything. Program. Same error. Let's step that up a little bit. 13.5. Same error. Okay, let's jump up to 14. Same error. Interesting. Well, let's go all the way to 50. All right, we'll go to 16, but not 21. How's that? I hope I don't burn it out here. All the way up to 16. Program, same exact error. Okay. So, you know, I mean, I do have the chip inserted correctly. The The diagram says that the little, the little divot needs to be towards you know, towards the lever of the ZIF socket, and it is. 
So hopefully I'm you know getting the right getting the right answers there. Hopefully I'm getting the right answers there. Um gosh. Alright, so now let's read this thing, see if it changed anything at all. Nothing. It changed nothing. They do not understand. So let's let's put this back to twelve. Let's do a ver let's uncheck the verify after, see what the heck happens. Well look at this. It's doing something. Program successful. Okay. Well we didn't verify it, so it sent the program successfully. So now let's read it. Okay. Well, it's just not doing anything. So, uh, this is no fun. This is no fun at all. This is no fun. And, you know, I read other people have the verify on. They'd actually program, you know, null back to it. So let's program null back to it, and, it, and, and it'll show you success. Program succeeded. Well, sure. Because I sent it at all Fs, and it read all Fs. So, of course, it's a match, <laughs> but it didn't change anything. So, you know, but that exercise there hopefully rules out uh, a couple of things. And so what looks like is happening is with multiple chips now, the EEPROM burner is just not burning. It is not writing uh, to the chip. And yet, uh, you know, I, I, I think it should. Um... I don't know what else to do. It it certainly I, I thought it matched the uh, the parameters that I had. So I'm kind of at a loss here, guys. Um, you know, not not exactly sure what else to do. I I did again with that one chip. Again with that one chip that I I let's do this. I'm pretty sure I turned all everything all the way up with that one chip. So let me put that one chip in again. The one that I think went bad. That. Even if I left, I left it under the UV eraser for like hours, and it didn't do anything. So, all right, I put that one chip in. Let's do a read so you can see this. This is the, this is the bad chip. Yeah, see, it's got that zero there, and and I did this by turning everything up as high as it would go. I mean, everything. I just turned all of it up. I don't think I changed the pulse delay, um, but I just turned everything up, and I just hit program, and, and I think I just manually changed that byte, and I don't think I got a success, but evidently, evidently it did something. So let's 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 go back to our defaults here. Let's change this. Let's change the select. Let's select the same chip. There it is. We're going back to our defaults. So, and let's load, let's load this program here, the bin. And it is the same length, by the way. I mean, it's 07F. It's the same length as we read. It still goes to 07F. Right? It goes all the way down to 07F and no further. So, very confusing. Very confusing. Uh. All right, it's loaded. Program, program error, of course. Ooh, look, look. Verify zero x twenty. It changed. That's interesting. Let's read it. Well, we still have the double zero there. So I wonder if that has anything to do with it. I mean, I'm going to try changing this. I think I was able to change this live here. 
Oh yeah, so I can change it. Or can I? Yeah. You just have to click it right. Alright. So now let's program that. <coughs> Now let's read that. <coughs> Still got that double zero there. <coughs> All right, so let's turn this. Let's try this. Let's let's try this again. Just you know, because if if I already destroyed this chip, then you know I don't know what kind of results we're going to get. Let's turn this all the way up to twenty-one. All the way up. Now let's program. See what happens. Ready? Here we go. Watch the fireworks. Well, we got an error on zero this time. So let's read it. Let's see what I did. Read. Well, that's still a double zero. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take the chip out. I'm going to put it in backwards just for the heck of it. It's now upside down according to the diagram. Let's read. Over current protection actions. External short IC. Yeah. So it's clearly reversed. So at least it recognized that. <laughs> it's, it's inserted wrong. So there you go. Let's try to read it again. Okay. I am just really, really confused. Really confused. I don't know what else to make of this. I don't know what else to make of this. Do you know what to make of this? I mean, you know, I guess we could try... program successfully because I told it to program exactly what was there, right? So it didn't actually change anything. I don't think. Nope, didn't change anything. I am so confused. So, so, so confused. What is this? Multi-programming. Read from chip. Fill the buffer. Verify. Ah! Yeah, so it's got a double zero there. They take this chip out and put in another chip, it should verify is empty. empty. The device is blank. Thank you very much. That was helpful. <sighs> Alright, well let's turn everything up. I think that's what I did. We're up to 21. Let's turn this up. Let's turn this up. Let's just turn up all the dials to maximum. We'll leave the pulse delay there for a while. Let's load our target file and try that. And program. Mm, 0x1c now. That's totally different. Let's see what we got there. Did I actually program something? Let's read it. Burn it out. Hey, hey! Look at this. I was successfully able to put something new in the first position. <laughs> it's What's that supposed to be for my file? Well, that's not what it's supposed to be. <laughs> um... So what did we do? Jeez. Ay ay ay. All right, let's t let's turn up the pulse delay. Who knows what the heck's going on here? Let's try that again. Let's program it again. See what the heck. Well, now it's at the same price here, the same same place. Read it. Oh look, I changed it again. So it looks like I I have success changing the first the first byte. Here, byte zero. Looks like I have, you know, I, I changed it to something, turning all the dials up. Well, let's turn the dials down. At least that one. All right, program that. that, that no, that we don't want to program the same file here. So evidently, I could program that one 
fight, but nothing else. By turning everything all the way up. Okay. Now who knows what, what it changed to this time. Oh, it's still at 18. I don't know! Let's go back to 500. Open the file. Okay, good. Program that puppy. Read stop. We've got a 10 there now. I mean, I'm changing the first byte. Maybe that's finally what it was supposed to be. Mm. Finally what it was supposed to be. Um... I am just really beside myself here and what to do. I'm really beside myself with what to do here. I mean, you know, the only thing you change is this and the pin output. And the pin output. Put, 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 put. Load mode. I just don't think any of this makes any difference. Because it doesn't care what I'm writing, does it? I mean, it doesn't do any verification, any, co any compiling. It's just not writing. I am so confused. Back to ten again. Now that's what it's supposed to be. <sighs> it's only slightly frustrating. All right, more Google. Thanks for watching.